building a cat house in Minecraft, but I have five challenges to complete, four of which are in this book, and one is from a friend. The book says that we have to make a place for kittens to play, create a paw print shaped window, incorporate wool for cozy vibes, and our house must have a tail. That's not bad. Those are cute challenges. But now let's see what my friend Ollie will make me do. Tis I, Ollie, lover of cats. And as a fellow friend to felines, I'm sure you know that a good cat needs purpose. So I challenge you to spawn a litter of cats into the home, name them all, and give them each a job. And then theme each room around their newfound professions. I want a chef cat working in his new kitchen. I want a madame of the house cat sipping her premium milk in the lounge. Surprise me. Wait. That's actually kind of fun. Normally there's about four to six cats in a litter, so we can make six areas in our house to have six cat jobs. Ta-da! Look at his derpy little face. I love it. Obviously, this is the front of the house with a cute little cat face. I gave it some whiskers and some ears. I made a long rectangle for the house part. And because one of the challenges was to add a tail, we've got one of those right at the back. Now you're probably wondering, why did you build a giant pink box full of sand under your cat house? <laughs> well, it's a litter box. <laughs> And it's for one of the cat jobs. So first out here, we have the litter box, which uh, will be maintained and managed by an archeologist cat because archeologists, uh, they dig for stuff. And <laughs> when litter boxes get cleaned, you dig for stuff. Uh-huh, anyway, as we go inside, this first room will be a kitchen with a chef cat. In the middle, we'll have a living room slash library combo with a librarian cat. And this space at the back will actually be an aquarium for cats to look at fish swim. And obviously, if there's gonna be a water around, we need a lifeguard cat. Now upstairs, there's actually two more rooms. And because this is a cat house, we have some parkour on either side to get up there. So this will be a playroom with a babysitter cat. And this last room will be a bedroom with a bedtime story time cat. Now that we know where things will go it's time to decorate but actually wait a minute because I added a tail to my house and without thinking I built this entire place out of wool that means I already completed two challenges from the book now all we have to do is make a paw print shaped window a place for kittens to play and dad all the cats with their jobs now let's see where could we put a cat paw shaped window all of these walls on the sides are an even number so that's not gonna work but this side is an odd number unfortunately this is the back of the house though so so that's also not gonna work because this is gonna be an aquarium. <gasps> Wait, we could put one paw print shaped window on the back of the house upstairs and another one in the playroom. The playroom one would be more like a little interior window, but it would be so cute because you could look down from the top floor to the bottom floor. Now let's figure out how to decorate this kitchen. Uh, this is kind of in an awkward place because it's right at the front of the house and we have all these parkour platforms leading upstairs. So this might look kind of weird, but we'll make it work. Because I literally built a black cat house, we're using all the black cat things. We've got black cat mugs, a kitchen sink, we have this giant mug, the entire cat cabinet set, and we have a plant pot. I don't think a kitchen island works in this space. So instead, we can put some counters on this wall, a sink in the middle, some counters on this wall with a sink in the middle. Then we can try to fit a couple of cabinets and add some mugs. Actually, wait a minute, could it possibly work? Does that look weird? Does it look weird to have an island literally by the front door? Maybe, but without it, it kind of feels empty. Let's just try it. So we'll put the island there, a couple of bar stools. Maybe the plants can go in the middle and to have some kind of entryway, we can add a carpet. This actually isn't awful. It's weird that this is the first thing you walk into, but it's kind of cute. Just pretend that it's not literally by the front door and it works. Because all this kitchen stuff has a purple and black cat vibe, I found 
these. They're amethyst lanterns with a little bit of glass hanging from the ceiling. We can have island lights. Moving on to the library and living room area, we obviously need a fireplace on this wall, which unfortunately means this window must be destroyed. To match the kitchen, we could add a purple mantle to this fireplace some blue campfires, and around the front, we'll add some slabs. I changed my mind. Instead of a white fireplace with the purple mantle, I did an entirely purple fireplace. I think it matches better. Now, because it's a little dark in here, let's add a couple of floor lamps and some ceiling lights. Now, for seating, we actually have cat chairs. Ta-da! They literally have ears. These are so cute. Now let's add some carpet on the floor, a cat garland on the fireplace. Maybe we can add some more of these plants. And now we can add some books. Ta-da! We've got books over here and books over there. You know, it's actually really cool that I just found out these regular Minecraft books are placeable. If I just crouch and click, it makes a book. Da, 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 da. Maybe a bit too much, so let's just do a couple. We'll have two there and three there. Moving on to the aquarium room. I actually have no idea how to do this. I want it to look cool, but the space also isn't very big. So maybe we grab some glass and just do something like this. That way the cats can be sitting here to look at the fish over here. How's that? I think it looks okay. We should do something fun with the floor though. We can add some sandstone, some regular sand, and maybe even some clay. Now, if I fill this up with water, will water go everywhere? No. I feel like it only goes through the glass panes if I put the bucket of water on a glass pane. Like if I did something like this. Yeah. We'll fill this with water carefully. <gasps> That works! Now I'm just gonna temporarily break the roof above my head so I can get inside of the fish tank. Cause we obviously can't leave it like this. We have to add some seagrass. <gasps> I have seashells. Oh, maybe we should add some sea lanterns to the floor. Hold on. <gasps> Cute. Now let's put some seagrass around. Couple of seashells, a bit of kelp, a bit of coral, and we can add some fish. Wait, how did this happen? Huh? Can we just like block it off? It's gone. Oh. oh, it's coming from all of them. Why? Oh no. Okay, wait, I can fix this. No, <gasps> it's the corners. No! Fine, the corners get blocks. Okay, I fixed it, but now we have blocks in weird corners. What if we just full blocks on all the corners like this i fixed it now we can put our fish in here and maybe so they don't jump out we should add a couple of trap doors cute now we can put our carpet back over here and some for the cats over here now that we have this bottom floor done let's check on the book to see what else we have to do we already put a tail on our house we incorporated wool for cozy vibes we did create paw print shaped windows and now we have to make a place for kittens to play. Luckily, I already have a space for that right up here. In this playroom, we're obviously gonna have to make some cat trees and toys. So let's see, over here we can have a cat tree. Then over here we can have a cat tree. Maybe a little shelf up here for them to lay on and the shelf over here for them to lay on. Now in the middle of the space, I wanna add a little bit of carpet, add a bunch of plushies and toys to the floor. And then I wanna add some toy shelves. Ta -da! Not only do we have some toys on the toy shelf, but I added ropes for them to climb and play with. This toy right here is actually a music box. Ta -da -da! Cute! Now because we're gonna have six cats in this house, we're gonna have to have six beds. Obviously we could just put a bunch of beds out like this, but you know what's more fun? Bunk beds! Ta 
Ta -ta 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 -ta. Goodbye. In the middle, we can have a pink bunk bed. And then on either side, we can have a purple bunk bed. For some extra lighting, we could add some lanterns to the ceiling. Then around the beds, we could add some carpet. In the corners, we can add a bunch of nightstands with lamps on them. And then for our story time cat, we'll add some books. Well, now that the inside of the house is done, there's only one thing left to do. This is a litter box after all. And obviously, our archaeologist cat needs uh, something to dig for. <laughs> so around areas out here, we can place these little buttons that are not buttons. But they are buttons. <laughs> Ta-da! Little surprises. Well, anyway, now that everything is done, let's finish our last challenge. Outside, we have Alex the archaeologist cat. In the kitchen, we have Charlie the chef cat. And here, we have Lily the lifeguard. Now, if we go upstairs in the playroom, we have Beth the babysitter cat. And finally, in the bedroom, we have Sammy the Storytime Cat. Well, now that we've completed all five challenges for the cat house, let's go on a tour. Here's the outside of the house, and here's the inside of the house. So first, obviously we have the kitchen, we have a lot of cabinets, we have two sinks, an island, a bunch of cat-themed items, and Charlie the Chef. Over here we have the living room library combo with a fireplace, some cat couches, a bunch of books, and Lauren. Over here the cats can be entertained by the aquarium room with Lily the lifeguard keeping watch of course. And then up this parkour we have a super fun playroom and across from that we have the bedroom. So what do we think? Do you like my cat house? Let me know in the comments what room is your favorite or which cat is your favorite. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.